Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman. And in this series, we are, will go back to where it all started. And this time round, we will focus on completing as many of the challenges as we can on each and every one of the primary Hitman targets. With maybe a few interesting bonus kills on the way. Today we are in Hokkaido for the Cutthroat Challenge, which entails killing one of our targets with a shuriken whilst disguised as a ninja. And the only target we can really get is Yuki. So for this challenge you will be bringing with you a electronic key hacker, some shurikens obviously, uh, a silenced pistol, and we're going to have the remote uh, Igmatic gas grenade uh, stored up as well on the mountain path and of course we will be starting as the ninja on the mountain path so with all of that said let's get reacquainted with our target shall we Yuki Yamazaki a Tokyo lawyer who works for Providence Sodas has already given Yamazaki access to our client records Powerful as Providence may be, ICA's sovereignty is at stake. So, right from the start and off the bat, we are going to stop posing like this because it's terribly painful. Uh, we're going to retrieve our remote gas device and we're going to start making our way down the mountain path. Now, we are going to encounter two guards and a camera. So once we get to the edge here, we're just going to have a look. The guards are far enough away, so we're going to take out our silenced pistol and we're going to shoot the camera. As you can see, I've already shot it once when I took out Eric Sodas earlier on in the mission. But once the camera has been taken care of and the guards are on their way back down the mountain path, we can then make our way down the mountain path also. Once we get to the door that's just on our right here, we're going to pull out our silence pistol and we're going to shoot the camera up on the wall ahead of us. It's just over by that drain pipe there. So that's that taken care of. We're now going to hug the building and make our way down towards that drain pipe where we just shot the camera. And just be aware of the two guards and the gardener behind us. The gardener will eventually move and look in this direction. So we need to get up that drain pipe like a rat. So once the guards are safely out of the way, we can then make our way up the drain pipe onto the ledge, in through the window, immediately to our left across the corridor and into the maintenance room of the sauna. We're then gonna turn up said sauna and that's going to become too hot for the two occupants inside and they will eventually leave. In the meantime, while we're waiting for that, we are going to select our remote gas device. And when our two friends here vacate the sauna area, and make sure they're completely out of the room here, we can then enter into the sauna room. Just making sure that guy is moving away. We are going to place our gas grenade right down low and right by the door here. Just in that bottom corner right there. We're then going to use our hacking device to re-enter the maintenance area. And we're going to wait right here. So I'm going to keep the door open so that we can see what's going on. Now eventually Yuki and her bodyguard will make their way into the room. And once Yuki is passed and the bodyguard makes his way in, we are going to trigger the gas device. That will make the bodyguard sick and he will make his way into the bathroom uh, to be sick and out of our way. So that we are now free and clear to take care of Yuki and hide her body. So all we're going to do is open the sauna door, throw a shuriken at Yuki's head. That's both targets down. Time to find an exit. We're done here. 
So after Yuki's very gymnastic death, all we're going to do is grab her body, drag her into the maintenance room and dump her in the crate provided. That gets us the cutthroat challenge. All that's left for us to do is to make good our escape. And we are going to escape via the snowmobile. So we're going to retrace our steps. Just be very much aware of where the two patrolling guards are. But luckily they're far enough away that we can make it to the snowmobile. So there we go. That is the cutthroat challenge taken care of. I have been Anubis. And I will see you all in the next video.